So Jamie, the first place to start, Saturday, how are the lads feeling off the back of that result? Pretty gutted if I'm honest, um, it's, it's a hard one to take losing 1-0, especially to your rivals. I mean, it's never nice playing like a derby game like that and losing, but they're hurt and again, just want to put things right now. So how do we put things right? Again, it, we've had chances, take chances, I mean, conceded a goal off a big deflection, it's always hard, but again, I think you just got to keep grind, grinding, working hard, again, out there today in training, going over everything and just staying positive as you can and going into the next game with that mentality. Because you didn't really have that much to do, did you, let's be honest, other than that deflected effort, there wasn't really much that tested you. No, I mean, I had a couple of crosses, a couple of through balls, and I mean, they had good quality, you could tell, but again, I think their keeper was well worked from us, and I mean, just need to take them chances, convert them to goals, and uh, it would have been better if we could have got something out of the game. It's got to be frustrating for you that the goal that did beat you was a deflection. As a keeper, it's probably the hardest one to take. I mean, if it's a wonder goal again, it's hard to take, but when, when you feel like it's taken a big hit and all the rest of the game, hardly tested, it's a hard one to swallow, yeah. How are you finding it back in the team? You know, you've been out injured for a while, so you're back in the swing of it? Yeah, I mean, I just try and stay as positive as I can. I mean, again, the gaff has been brilliant with all the lads. The lads have been great with me. And again, just trying to progress on, do as well as I can. And I feel like I'm getting back to full fitness and getting back fully ready now. So let's look ahead to the weekend. Luton at the Hive here. Mm. What do you think you can expect from a Luton side? Again, I mean, it's another kind of derby game, a rivalry game. They're not far from us now. I mean, doing well in the league. But again, I think a lot of the games this season... We could have done better and again, we played well and just haven't got the result. We could be up where they are now and uh, I think they're going to be a good side. I mean, we played at their place, they pass it well, they move it well. So I expect them to be a high tempo, lots of action and hopefully well, we can get a few goals and keep a clean sheet ourselves. And it's an opportunity to bounce straight back, isn't it? And that's a good thing about football. Within a week you can put things right. Yeah, I agree. I mean, hopefully we've got that bounce back ability to get straight into the game start on the front foot and push on and get a result out of it, hopefully. How are the lads feeling? Because there's, it's been a tough few weeks, you know, results have been up and down, so how, what's the mood in the camp? It's hard, I mean, you've got good leaders in your group, keeping everyone together, experienced players, the young lads bring the energy as well, so it's hard, and I mean, coming into training, especially after a loss, no one's going to be happy, you never are, I mean, end of the day, it's our livelihood, we want to win games as much as we can, so, but again, You've just got to stay as positive as you can and push on and try and be ready for the next game and the next challenge. After a loss like the one on Saturday, how do you cope with it? You know, are you thinking about it all weekend? Like, how does that sit with you? Um, I, it's, I, as I've got older, I've dealt with things better, I think. I used to sit and ponder and think about things too much. I still analyse the game we have just then, did it again. We go through all the game, all the clips and what we can do better. But myself, I try and switch off a little bit, go do different activities, relax and just have some time with my family. First full day back in for all the players today following yeah. the weekend's fixture. So how intense was training today? Oh, did quite a bit of work actually. I mean, the lads are on it. I mean, there's an under-21 game as well today. But all the lads who are in, who are sharp. I mean, some good fitness work. Again, a lot of uh, passing possessions, a lot of teamwork as a unit. And then again, at the end, a bit of getting spirits up, a bit of six sides, getting everyone playing, getting the ball down and uh, just enjoying football again. What do you think the things are that we need to work on? Like you said, we keep, we, we, we've slipped 1-0, maybe throwing a late goal away. So what do you think the things are that the side need to improve on moving forward? Just, again, little errors. I mean, it's, not, it's nothing serious. I mean, you look at the game on, on Saturday and you wouldn't turn around and go, it was a bad game for us. It's just one chance, one goal. I think it's just, again, taking our chances, being compact in the way we play, and again, just doing the right things at the right times and just being consistent in our, the way we play rather than one half being horrendous, one half being brilliant. We need to just have a consistency and grind through. So. And on Saturday, do you think we've got that ability to bounce back, go again and nick a result here at the Hive? Definitely. I mean, the squad of players we've got, I mean, it's shown start of the season to now in the season. We've got great ability, great players, young and old in our team. We've got a great mix of players and characters. So hopefully, again, you can see today in training, everyone was lively, trying to get back on, stay positive. I think uh, we're going to go into the game, give it everything and be positive as we can.